Hi everyone, my name is Stacy Jones and I'm the theater arts teacher at Luther Jackson Middle School. And my advanced year long theater arts students just had this amazing, amazing thing happen to them. They actually were assessed for their growth, not by a quiz or a test, but merely by having conversations. We were part of a POL, a presentation of learning, and it was amazing. But don't take my word for it, why don't you wait and listen to what a couple of my kids had to say? Hi, this is Manya and Jay, and I just have a couple questions for them. So, Manya, when you first heard about a POL, a presentation of learning, what did you think? Uh, I didn't really think much of it. I thought it was going to be kind of boring. Oh, okay kind of boring like any other class. I didn't think there was going to be much special stuff about it. I didn't think I'd have to go into detail that much. And I wasn't too hyped about the idea. How about you, Jay? Um, I wasn't very hyped about it at first. But yeah, it was kind of, it seemed like another normal day assignment. So Had you heard of it, Bianca? Yeah, I've heard of it before. And I did think it was going to be a better way to assess mm -hmm. what we know. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna have to study before it. It's just a conversation to be able to show people that you grew as that you grew as a person. I was very confused because I never heard about it till like the day you mentioned it. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't something we really like learned about in seventh grade or like even in elementary school. Mm -hmm. So I was just really confused and wondering what that was. How about you, Viv? I feel like adding on, I was a little confused because, and I felt like it was going to be a lot. Like I thought it was going to be a lot because the more we talked about it, the more I felt like there was a lot of responsibilities and so much to do. And mm -hmm. it was just a little challenging. It was it. challenging. But then, you know. But then what? So um, as you were going through the process, y'all, what, like, what, what did you have to do and did it, did your original ideas change at all yeah they did so the more assignments we got the more i realized how diverse the subject is and how much there was to learn about it and it changed my perspective wanting to learn more i felt like i learned about myself going through like the steps how was i a communicator how was i a collaborator and really choosing which one i helped i like did the most of and making my project about that awesome uh, challenge but then you know but then what but then I feel like it turned out more easy because we kept going into it and like doing more and more and exploring more. And then I feel like that made it more easier for uh, me, especially because I have a little hard time with that. So Of, of talking to people? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you did a great job. Awesome. So did you guys, it sounds like you guys enjoyed the projects of learning. Do you think that is a worthwhile experience? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about words of advice or encouragement for, for our fellow students at Fairfax County? Well, it helps you learn a lot more about yourself than you did know. So as Jay said, and it's very, yeah, it's good to expand your mindset. And even though it might be boring in the beginning or not that fun, the outcome at the end will be much better. So you were talking before when, before we started this interview about like whether or not you think tests are like a true reflection of knowledge. And can you share with the, uh, the group here what you, what you said earlier? Um, yeah, I was saying that I don't think tests are a good way of measuring one's knowledge on a topic mm -hmm. because you can cheat on it, you can study the day before and then forget about it the I next day. Yeah, or like <laughs> good, do good on the test, but then like a month later you won't remember it. And I think to learn something, actually learn it, you have to be able to understand it yourself, having a conversation about it like that. And this was about how you grew as a person, but it could relate to any topic. Cool. So, like fundamental support to yes. like, continue going on. Like one thing so, is over, that's the, like, yeah. the last time you get here, but yeah. it's like best wall and stuff. Right. So, Steffi, when you did the POL, were you were you nervous or were you were you pretty comfortable as you started speaking? Um, I was kind of nervous because I usually don't talk in like big groups unless like with my close knit friends mm -hmm. and like them. I talk to them all the time and like I'm used to them. But like when there's like adults in the room, I get kind of closed up and kind of scared mm -hmm. because like there's an adult. I don't really talk to adults as much because I'm a kid. And until I do talk to them, is in like school or if I actually really need something. Do you feel more confident now after you went through this process? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I think I think that makes sense. And and would you recommend um, people doing POL, or what would you say to uh, fellow students about the POL experience? Um, it helps you prepare for life, I guess, because in life you're always getting interviewed and stuff, and you have to know what to say and when to say. You have, to have good charisma and stuff, mm -hmm. so you can actually like apply to things and actually have a chance of getting hired or getting into something into programs and stuff like that. Uh, well. Uh, in one way that helped me a lot and mm -hmm. can help so many others is definitely uh, collaboration because that at the beginning was super hard for me. I did not like to work with people at all. It was just like really hard because I didn't like people giving me their opinions. I didn't like giving my own opinions. So when we did one specific, the tableaus, and we did that, I feel like that was really like it challenged me and I'm happy mm -hmm. I did it because I was able to overcome that. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy that it changed me as a collaborator. Don't think about it too hard. It, it's not like you're not going in front of like a thousand people and, yeah. telling, and talking and being like, oh, this is what I did. This is what yada yada. It is more of just you're talking to a person in a group of mm -hmm. peers, of people that you already know. So it's don't think about it too hard and don't really stress over it. I think that I, I agree with him. Definitely don't think it over because I think that's what I did. And mm -hmm. it really kind of messed me up. But I would say make sure you're, like, you're, you're doing it with people that you're comfortable with. Because if you're like doing it with people that you're not comfortable with, that's going to be a little iffy. Unless you want to step out your comfort zone, then that's when you can actually go. Oh, ahead and, that's yeah. a good point. Well, great. Thank you so much. Of course.